This is the Turner Blade, welcome to part 43, I think I just did 43, um, hang on, nope, I was right, 43. So, after all our fun texturing, let's make it all go back to gray, be, and let's just, um, delete that thing. First off, let's just bring these things in, because we don't actually need them. Randomization is good, gives it a more realistic feel. Right, so let's go on the left hand viewport here. just go cry because this is not going to be fun. I'm going to do a lot of cheating here so it looks right because I don't, I have no idea how that actually goes together. And frankly, I don't want to find out. But. So, create a box. Just kind of move it. Um, perspective. W. And bring it out. Increase the width or the height actually. Bring the width back to where it was. This will give us kind of a thing. Don't quite know what it is, but it looks kind of cool. So convert to editable poly. Select both of these. Inset. Okay. And just scale problem. I really do just want to scale everything up and I really might, but let's just extrude backwards because I'm lazy. Okay, gives us kind of like a angle iron shape. Um, okay, next let's... Some of these things are so useless, like it, there's some random tube coming down, and I have no clue what it does. This is my models, I like them to actually do stuff. So, create a sphere, segments down to 16, hemisphere 0.5, and then just copy it over. Okay, give it a quick scale down, then move it back in. Okay, like that. Then we'll make um, a random tube because that's what it is. Okay, so create a cylinder, um, polys, hinge from edge, pick a random edge, make it 60 degrees somewhere around there. Three segments should be good. And let's just give it some type of bevel so it doesn't look stupid. Okay. Extrude straight back in. Inch from edge, pick inch. Boom. Wrong hinge. There we go. And then just go the opposite direction. Voila, we have a pipe thing. Next, let's just draw a quick cylinder here. Just kind of line it up. Okay, give it 
point sides just to make it a little smoother. Alright, let me just turn this to gray. Alright, cool. So, now that we have that, let's make more. So, select all these things, left viewport. And let's rotate them a bit. Okay. Local. Change it to view. And just stick it in there. I believe that's all they have there, so I'm good in that respect. Next, let's just make some piston-y looking thing, so big cylinder, rotate it, sink it back in, um, make sure you're on the right axis, it helps, and rotate it a bit more, and convert to editable poly, Set and extrude. Just kind of get it down there somewhere, and just select that edge, that edge, loop, chamfer. Okay, and for a spring, oh, those have something special. Don't remember where they were, but I know they just want to start healing. This is Helix. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Helix. So, make a Helix. It's a spline, by the way. And you'll find it over there. Just put it straight in there. And let's see here. Turns. We want a lot of turns. Radius 2, make it the same. Actually, let's bring it down to 2.5. Alright, bring it up just a tad. Um, don't care about that. Next, convert it to an editable spline. Rendering, enable and render, enable and viewport. Bring the thickness up, and look at that. It's a perfect spring. I'd give myself a round of applause, but that'd be kind of weird. Actually, it's on the local, let's scale it down a bit. It's kind of big. There we go. And we'll just sink it in there. Alright. Next, let's um, just make a cylinder. Spring. Local. Okay. Um, align. It's not agreeing with me. So let's just manually rotate this thing. Okay. That's pretty good. Increase the height a bit. And make sure on local and just sink it into the wheel. And bring it that way. Alright. Still so it looks like it's going in there somehow. Um Yeah, make one at the top too, just in case. My angle's off a bit, but it's not going to kill anyone. Increase the radius. Convert to editable poly just on the top one. Select the edges and chamfer. Okay, there we go. We got a spring, we got a piston thing, we got our weird little pipe things, and that'll be it for this part. I'll see you in part 44.